Okay. All right, so this is recording as of right now. Thank you for doing this interview, Laksha. Can you um, tell YouTube what's your name, what's your major, your school? Yeah, uh, my name is Laksha Goyal. I'm a soft junior now, going uh, junior in computer engineering. I go to Purdue University. Yeah. Nice, thank you. So what company are you going to be working for this summer um, and at which so location? This summer, yeah, this summer I'm going to Qualcomm for a internship in San Diego. Um, uh, I haven't been given assigned my like team that I'm working in, but it'll be hardware design related. So hardware, hardware, what? Sorry, hardware verification. Hardware verification. That's super cool. So, how did you get into this industry? Yeah. So, um, I think the first the way I was introduced to it was there's a class at Purdue called BC three thirty seven, which is ASIC design. Um, mm -hmm. That stands for application specific integrated circuitry, and so that was a class that I took, and I just like like based on the labs that we did in the class got interested in like the the course and the subject and like the concepts that we learned and mm -hmm. then the first career we had a career fair at, at Purdue then like a couple weeks like during that semester I was taking it and um, Qualcomm was there so I went to talk to them and oh. I was enough to go forward and go pass through their interviews. So you talk about like the career fair can you talk about the different application process the different interview rounds so what happened after yeah. the career fair what did you do okay yeah so they first the career fair was just like they, they had their representatives you went wait up go online talk to them um mm -hmm. they used piazza for their mm -hmm. whole recruitment and so when we while we were waiting in line to talk to them at the career fair they made a sign up on their piazza and then we talked to them, they filled out some more stuff on Piazza, upload your resume on there too. And then after that, they contacted back through Piazza um, and we had like a short, like 15 minute conversation with someone, um, which was- Is that not, over the phone or in person? No, so this was in person on campus. They called me, okay. called, okay. wasn't technically an interview. Um, they just said it was like an informal conversation and they just sure. went through my resume. Mm -hmm. um, after that, um, based on, that conversation, I think they scheduled to have an on, on campus interview. And they, and they had two 45 minutes each back to back uh -huh. um, different people on campus. What were the, what questions did you get asked during the back to back 45 minute sessions on campus? Yeah. So the, so the two people there, um, one person was doing like more behavioral questions and the other was doing like um, technical. Um, okay. So the, I did the behavioral one first, and they talked about like my resume. They talked about why I want to go to Qualcomm, um, and, like my career aspirations after that, and things like that. Sure. And he also asked a couple technical questions, um, but it was more, that person was more um, behavioral. And then after that, uh, the second person had a bunch of different like worksheets of questions for like for technical questions based on the skills that I listed on my resume. Um, okay. So based on those skills, he would ask questions and. Would work through that. Cool. So, how do you recommend, or how do you tell people that are applying to Qualcomm to prepare for the technical aspect? Because behavioral is like pretty general, right? It's like mm -hmm. your resume. Mm -hmm. How about the yeah. technical aspect? What um, what process do you use? Do you use Glassdoor or any specific uh, textbook? No. So, I think for me, um, the course was because this course was still fresh in my mind. It was like very easy for me. Like I. Pretty much everything I learned in that course was directly applicable. So okay. I would say like rely on the courses that you you're taking, the special ones that you're interested in. Okay. And then like just to prepare specifically for the interview, I like read up on a couple of the concepts. Like I just googled them and like read up small articles about the concepts that I was a little less um, sure about. Sure. I mean, if you don't mind, after this interview is over, I'll probably uh, yeah. ask you to name the course name in the textbook so I can put it in the yeah, description sure. box. Um, so what happens sure. after the two back-to-back -back on-campus interviews? Is there a super so, day or no? Say that again. Is there a super day or any other additional rounds after the on-campus interview? Um, no, so no for me. So those two were the, the, the only interviews I had back to back. Okay. And then uh, after that, they just um, gave me a call when I got the position. To, oh, that's to pretty say. straightforward then. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. So. That, that was the path that I went through. Um, Qualcomm also has a separate intern like experience, experiential program uh, mm -hmm. where you can go on site and they'll give like a tour and stuff. 
and some people have interviews on site. So oh, that's okay. a different. So they have like they go there for two days or something. They fly you out. They do everything, and that's the entire process on over there. And then I think they contact you back. If you do that process, is there also yeah. an on-campus interview or no, or a just no, one place for, out there? Yeah. So that for people that go through that process, only do that. Um, I think they have some sort of. They also they applied for that online, and so then. They might have had. I didn't go through that, so I'm not sure. But they might have had some sort of like phone screening or something like that before. Sure, gotcha. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, and like yeah. one final question: What qualities yeah. do you think Qualcomm looks for an intern? Uh -huh. Um. So just like by talking to the the first guy um, at the in interview, he seemed like they want you to be more like inquisitive about um, the company, and then like show some interest in what they're doing and not just sure. like Qualcomm's a big company so and they hire a lot of people so they're making trying to look for people that aren't just trying to get to the internship they actually want to contribute to the to their projects nice uh any right. final so suggestions to um no i would say to... um definitely um don't try or i know people who've applied to Qualcomm without taking that first class so it's still possible to read up about it and learn about the concepts and get an internship. Maybe it'll be a different department, not the same one that I'm going to be going in, but um, obviously read up on the technical things. So definitely take one class beforehand. Yeah, that's related to gotcha. the internship team. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much for this yeah. interview. Appreciate yeah. it. No problem.